Hi everyone. In this tutorial, I wanted to share how I made this editor tool to export thumbnails to textures. So you can right click and you can just export to texture and it will generate a texture. And those, those textures are ready for UI. They already have the UI texture group. I find this editor tool to be very useful for generating content uh, for quick prototyping and s let's say for your inventory and seeing your inventory without having to create a specific UI. Go ahead and open up Lyra and generate the project and open up with Writer. Your setting might be different uh, because if you're using Visual Studio, then open Writer. We'll be adding this tool uh, just for the editor. So let's navigate, let's open up your Explorer um, or your solution and then navigate to games and then your project name uh, and then source Lyra editor. And we will put it in our module file, Lyra editor, Siebel source file. Then scroll all the way down until you get to Lara editor module and let's let's add the code you can copy paste uh, from my github repo let's just add all the code in the private section so let's just create a new section private and let's just paste all that code you'll have a lot of warnings about missing includes so let's just go ahead and fix those up i'll also add the include paths in the github project files. So we need the thumbnail tools and we need the asset registry module. And we also need the save package arguments or save package .h. And then let's navigate to start module. Uh, we'll add uh, a call to a function in the start module and in the shutdown module, just to make sure that everything cleans up nicely. Let's navigate to startup. Uh, that is the alt and then the backlash for writer. So startup module. Uh, let's go ahead and call the new function we just added, add content browser context menu extender. Uh, right at the end over here. So what this function will do is it will extend the context menu in the content browser for all the assets. Uh, so when you right click on an asset, you'll have uh, your new functionality. And let's, oh, there, there's shut down module. Uh, so for that one, we'll just call remove content browser context menu extender right here. And that's all we need for code. Uh, so I will actually, I'll just close my Lyra and rerun just to make sure everything's up to date. Interestingly enough, it defaulted to Lyra game Epic Online System. So let's change that up to uh, thumbnails to texture, which is the name of my project. And then development editor is good. And let's just go ahead and compile. To test out our tool. Uh, we're actually going to just try to find all the skeletal meshes. Um, so you can open up a counter browser and then open up the asset filter and then let's just choose the skeletal mesh. And we're going to make textures out of the weapon thumbnails. But first, let's just have like a, a better point of view. To edit the thumbnails, you can actually navigate to settings and then uh, thumbnail edit mode. And then you click on on any of them and you can change the angle um i think that's pretty much all you can do really i don't think you, you can't really zoom in unless uh, someone could definitely correct me in the comments uh and yeah let's just let's just find a, a better angle for all these uh, before creating the textures out of it uh yeah so and then when you're done editing the thumbnails you just click uh, done editing Let's go ahead and save all. And then what our tool that we just created makes made is that you can right click on assets and you'll have your new category called your asset context. 
and you can click on export to texture and as you see I uh, just put some comments for that uh, uh, what's it called for that button uh, I will just export the assets thumbnail and put it in content slash procedural textures folder so let's go ahead and press this uh, so let's navigate to the contact uh, content uh, I see it so the content procedural textures and there you have it so these are ready to go they can actually be used in a package game because they're not um, editor only textures or content um, and whenever you re-export these guys uh, it will just update them so the way this tool works is that it, it kind of uses the logic that the the editor itself uses to cache uh, these thumbnails uh, but then it, it saves them to a certain spot. Um, so let's let's go over the, the code. So when the Lyra editor module is starting up, it calls this function that we just created, add content, uh, add content browser context menu extender, uh, which it it gets the content browser module and it extends it. Uh, yeah, I, I gotta think the. Um, I put a few links of uh, for reference for some of this code that I found online. So thank you for uh, anyone that contributed to that code. Um, yeah, the only difference I, I made is I, I tweaked it uh, so it goes into a specific uh, folder and I made a call from the editor, the Lyra editor module. So what this does is it it adds a menu extension um and it calls a it calls a function on the selected assets and there's a there's a lot of you, you can look into um these kind of functions cuz like it's it's interesting to see how the uh other assets are taken care of and how how they get their context actions and so yeah so it calls execute save thumbnail as texture which essentially just adds a menu entry. And so uh, this is how you can uh, customize your, your button and your category name. So the, the category name is in the menu builder begin section. And then, so that's why it's called your asset context. So when I, when I right click, it's right here. So your asset context, and then export to texture is actually just the button name. And then the tooltip is right here. So if you need to you change that, so right click, export to texture. So that's just the tooltip that pops up like the, the white uh, box. Um, and then it, it just iterates through all the selected assets. So this is where you could, I guess, filter out some things like, like a texture, like you don't, you don't really need to export a texture to a texture. Um, and then uh, my code is a bit different from the uh, the code from these uh, website uh, web pages. So I, I just make sure to add the prefix T underscore. So it, it follows like uh, Lyra or Unreal's best practices. And so this is all kind of like code from, from those sites. And then uh, the only difference that I made uh, is I saved it to this uh, folder, so game procedural textures. So this is where you can change uh, if you want to put it in content, uh, guns, or like if you want something specific, then you can change it right here. So game will just is basically your content folder. And then the last thing I edited is uh, I made sure that the LOD group is the texture group UI, so you can already use it in UI or alternatively you could just not set this and you can set it on each of the texture uh, but it, it just saves just it just saves one step yeah so and then it just saves uh, it, it, it saves the actual texture so it yeah so it essentially uses the thumbnail tools to generate the thumbnail to save to disk but then instead of caching it, it creates a package and it, it, it just um, and it saves it. And that's how you can use it in your package game. So yeah, that's all. I, I figured someone else might need this tool uh, because it's, it's really nice for when you create 
uh, you're trying to create a UI and you have items and you can generate some textures to use as uh, temp textures instead of having to create one for each or screenshot the thumbnails. Uh, the one thing I haven't figured yet is it would be nice to have it without its background, uh, but I haven't figured that part yet, but that's okay because it's it's really just temporary UI assets. So yeah, I hope this was useful and happy dev.